What is up guys? It is me, the incredible Mr. Watson, and um, this is my second time filming this because my camera is janked and it just cut off mid-recording, so, you know. Um, long story short, we're doing the face mask. Face mask, the black mask, which I bought it from Wish, so hopefully that'll be even more, you know, shady. Maybe it'll hurt a little more. I don't know. I don't know. I'm interested to see what it'll smell like compared to the Yes to Tomatoes um, charcoal mask, which you'd think would smell like charcoal, but no, it smells fruity, kind of like tomatoes, um, because tomatoes are fruits. Fun fact, if you didn't know that, look it up. It's it's true. Um, anyway, this, this on the back, I'm going to read it again because it's hilarious what it says. It says usage. It says... Dry the cleansed area and apply the mask as desired, as in the desired area. Avoid eyebrow, eyes, and lips. Peel it off after 20 to 30 minutes. To achieve better results, all one word, better results. Apply the toner as to tighten and cleanse the pores thoroughly. Now, I'm breaking this down to basic face maskology 101 basically you apply hot water to a rag and you apply the rag to your face and you open up your pores then you apply the face mask so that's what i'm going to be doing i should have waited for that to get hot before i stuck the rag under it in case you can't tell i'm filming in my bathroom where else would you film a face mask video um, but yeah, so there's a sink right under this, so if my phone were to fall in, it would be tragic. But, you know, I dropped my phone in the ocean once, so, you know, been there, done that, how to ruin phone. It happens. Um, but this grip seems pretty secure, and if it falls, I'm gonna cry. Um, this water is taking forever to heat up. Winter time, you know? Yeah. Um. Anywho. Now that it's finally hot, this is an awkward camera angle. I do apologize. But now that it's finally hot, warm up the rag, bring it out, and, you know, just. Blah, 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 blah. Wipe your face off, like somebody with some common sense about you. Now, now that that is done, let's do this thing. So, purifying mask, here we go. And I am interested to see how this will work. Okay, it smells a lot like the Yes to Tomatoes mask. It's a darker and more of a a black consistency look then the other was more of a gray this one's also a little more runny and it's like pure black we're gonna start rubbing this in on my hands to apply it to my face just like this and I already have a little earring looking thing I always do that like I always wind up getting a black dot right on the center part of my ear. It always looks like I'm wearing an earring. And it's annoying. Oh, this definitely feels scandalous, if, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah, I feel like it's gonna hurt when I take this off. It feels like liquid latex. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be fun to peel off, I can guarantee it. Gonna be fun for y'all to watch, too. Put it on the soft parts of my neck. Oh, I just got it all up in my eyebrow. Mmm. Fun, fun. That's gonna hurt like, like heck in a minute. So, it doesn't really feel very cleansing. It feels like, honestly, like I'm rubbing oil all over my face. But hey. It's for science, so for science and for YouTube, I'm gonna 
pull myself together and work this out. Mm -hmm. Avoiding the lips. Um, trying to avoid my hairline, but you know, there's so much of it that it just kind of happens. I just got that all over my other eyebrow. Oh well. It happens to the best of us, it really does. Okay. So, going to add another layer and connect it so that hopefully it comes off all in uno piso. I don't want it coming off in little tiny shrivel bits. It's just no fun at all. Maybe this will feel like a waxing. Maybe it'll feel worse. Who knows? Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Alright. So now that I've got this applied. Look, I've got like a, like a sizer earring over here. And I've got like a little dot over here. Now it's a bigger dot, but you know. Anyway. Now that I've got this applied, I'm going to wash it off with my hands. Which isn't working very well. This is fun. This is good times. <laughs> Alright, water's a little too hot. Water's a little too hot. No, no, abort, abort. Okay, you get enough. I'm gonna wipe it off with a rag. Alright, so. I'm going to set a timer for 30 minutes, and I'll check back in with you guys in a minute. I'm back. Did you miss me? And no, I am not exaggerating. I really can't move my face that well with this mask on. It really makes me talk like a really weird person, dude. I really don't understand what's going on with it. Okay, maybe that voice is a little bit exaggerated, but I still really can't open my mouth very well, and I can't feel my face when I miss you, but I love it. Uh, but I love it. I can't feel my face and I'm with you, but I love it. Anyway, moving on. That's not important. We're going to pull this mask off. It hurts. It feels very tight. It feels like I'm suffocating. Um, it's not like a bad pain. Like, I kind of enjoy it, but you know, whatever. So I'm just going to start moving my face and letting it pull itself off and oh my god! <laughs> it's awkward. Oh my! Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Ha! Ah. I'm Batman. Oh! <laughs> I, I am Batman. <laughs> no, wait, no, pull off the other half and it'll be the Phantom from Phantom of the Upper. Oh my gosh, it's peeling off hairs. Oh my gosh. Oh my Lanta. It definitely works. Um. This is more of a satisfying peel off than the say yes to tomatoes mask. By far. Because this actually feels like it's ripping off nastiness. Whereas the other one was just like lightly peeling off. And oh my gosh, it's in my hair and I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, what the heck? I'm gonna have to get a haircut. I need a haircut anyway, but. Yep. 
Okay. All right now, I'm starting to do that strippy crap and I don't like that. I want it to peel off in one more continuous piece. Oh, avoid the hairline guys. Very much so, guys and gals and binary and non-binary paths. Do avoid the hairline because this is going to hurt like heck. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to get this out of my hair. Oh my gosh, you guys. It hurts, oh my gosh. Only me, only me, it would happen to only me. Oh my gosh, it's like right at the root of my hair. Oh my gosh. Let's move on. Let's get other stuff off. Why? In all fairness, it didn't say anything about avoiding the hairline. It said avoid the eyebrows, which I still didn't 100% do, but... Oh my gosh. Y'all just looking at this in the mirror, it looks terrifying. Oh. Mm. I had to let go of some hairs for that. Oh my gosh. Regerts. I got some regerts. Oh my gosh. That was not a good feeling, really. I don't even know how, I can't even. Like, I mean, it said you were supposed to avoid your eyebrows, but I didn't, I didn't think it would be that bad. I'm like, I didn't purposely get it on there. No one would purposely get it on their eyebrows. Oh my gosh, it totally just, like, waxed me. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna lose my eyebrows. This is awful. Oh my gosh. This is so painful. I mean, it's not painful, it's just, well, I don't know, like, on one hand it's painful, on the other hand it's not. Like, I don't know if it's more painful or if it's just annoying because I don't know how to get it off. Oh. The things I do for YouTube, you guys. Oh, well, there was another little piece that I didn't know was there. This side didn't get bad in my hairline. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And it's not as bad as I thought it was up at the top of my hairline. Like right here is where it's really bad. Oh, okay. It just came off. Okay. Maybe it'll pull off now. There's definitely still some in my hair. I'm hoping it'll wash off, it should. Ouch. Um, but yeah, so this was the face mask, the black purifying mask from Wish. Um, definitely will get rid of some of those, um, unnecessary eyebrow hairs. Um, like, it definitely felt like I waxed my eyebrows or something. And this down here is still on my neck. My neck. Yes, my neck. I'm gonna have to take just like a rag. 
and just like wipe that off. That's the good thing about this, is that I've done a mask similar to this before. Basically all you do with the parts that you can't peel off, you just wipe off with a wet rag. And that seems to be working here too. In the eyebrows as well. So maybe it won't be a big problem about my hair. Um, just definitely trying to wipe that off as much as I possibly can. Yeah. So yeah, that was it. And it wasn't too painful. I mean, where it got caught in my eyebrows. And kind of... Got a hold of a few of those hairs that didn't really matter anyway, but still hurt and up here hurt right here and like right here hurt until I got it wiped out. So overall, I say if you want to try it, try it. Just do not get it near your headline. Maybe use it more of a like a nose peel or like do like your T zone. Well, not even your T zone. <gasps> I wouldn't do anything, I would do below, below the eyes is what I would do. I would go below the eyes, make sure your hair is pulled back, your sideburns are trimmed, else this will do it for you. Um, <laughs> maybe do it uh, like under the eyes, like just kind of do like this. Um, if you're more exper experimental and you want to do your whole face, just try and, try and like, do like from this down because that in your hair stuff scared the crap out of me. I didn't think it was gonna get in my hair that badly. It did. Um, not a 10 out of 10 would recommend, but it is definitely, uh, like I would say maybe a five out of 10. It's, it's halfway decent. Um, that definitely was worth the, like, dollar or something. I, I think I got it for free, too. So it was for free. I just paid, like, a dollar or two shipping. Um, so, yeah, if, if you want to try the black mask, feel free. Knock yourself out. Um, I don't know that you can tell much of a difference on my nasal area. It definitely, I mean, it feels like I peeled something off of it. So, you know, perhaps it worked. Perhaps it didn't. Perhaps it's just one of those things, you know. But, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta go with it. You gotta just kind of roll with it. Um, like I said, I do believe I don't, I didn't even pay for this on Wish. It was, like, free paying like a dollar or two or shipping or maybe it was just a dollar or two itself and then I had to pay another dollar or two for shipping either way it wasn't that bad um if you like peel off if you like peeling off face masks if you like skincare if you're into it to try it as a weekly or a bi-weekly routine um I say knock yourself out, go for it. Um, I definitely will test it a couple more times just personally and maybe let you guys know in a future video. Um, also, if you're new to this channel and you're, you're watching this channel for the first time, I want to say welcome. Ow, that hurt. Um, this is the part two that will be stitched on to part one of the video. Um, but so, so that way that it, you won't have two separate videos and I won't have two separate videos to upload. Um, but go check out what I did, uh, the collab with, um, Melody from Melodious Productions. We did a scavenger hunt together through Walmart. Now that was fun. I really enjoyed it. It was biblical themed. We had to go through alphabetically, um, from all the way from A to Z. And it's interesting the things that we found and the things that we used and the how creative we got. Um, the the best thing came to the best and 
yeah. Uh, so <laughs> watch that video. That will be part one, two, three, and I think it's maybe either four or five videos long. I'm not 100% sure. We did a lot of filming that day. We had a lot of fun. Uh, Melody, again, I want to thank you so much for filming that with me. It was a whole lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed as well. If you want to see more videos like that, um, I will be doing more scavenger hunt videos. That's not the first one. Notice I said series. That's the Bible edition. So what we're going to do next time is we're going to think of some other ways to do a scavenger hunt. We might even just do a plain scavenger hunt. We might do it in a way of um, Melody's getting married soon. We might do some sort of like a, a a marriage scavenger hunt, like things that you would buy for your house or things that you would buy for a wedding shower. My mom's getting married too in March. Um, ignore this mess of hair on top of me while I talk. Anyway, sorry. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope you'll go back and you'll watch those other videos. Give them a like, that really helps a whole lot. Also, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button down there. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. I really don't care. Um, it does just help my channel. Um, also, share this video. Share all of my other videos. I really am trying to get out there, and I really want to. I want to make people happy. I want to. I want to give them inspiration. I want to be the source of someone's inspiration. You know, I don't know of any other YouTubers that do scavenger hunts throughout Walmart with a Bible. Like, I mean, I just don't know. So, um, yeah, definitely share this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell button to get notified every time I post a video or if I were to go live. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and thanks once again for the, like, a millionth time for watching. Um, I will see you guys in the next time. See y'all later. Bye! Peace out.